Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this is very weird. I haven't done a sit down tarot reading for a very long time. It feels like old me. <laughs> so today we're gonna to be doing a 2021 yearly overview. So we're gonna look into love, we're gonna look into career, and we're gonna look into the overview of the kind of general energy of the reading. We're gonna do some cards for each one, and I'm gonna try and do this as detailed as possible. So we have group number one with the clear quartz, group two with the pink opal, group three with the amethyst, and group number four with the rhodonite. Please choose your group. I'm sorry if you can't see all the cards. I've tried to like fit it in the frame, but as I'm working with not a large space, then um, hopefully it will show up. So let's get started with the reading and let's see what's going on for you guys for your 2021 predictions. We're going to start off with group number one with the clear quartz. Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading. So you guys chose the beautiful clear quartz cluster. I'm obsessed with this clear quartz. So we're going to go for the overall energy first of all, kind of what you can expect in 2021 and then we're going to go have a look into love, career and the overall like in little sections. So let's start off with the first card we have. I'm going to try my best to show you the cards. We have boundaries. Perfect. So this is the very first card that we have. Absolutely beautiful. We have boundaries. We have the chakra of the throat, which is beautiful. We have transformation, the eighth house of Scorpio. This is making so much sense already. I love this. We then have, oh, we have quite a few of the threads of fate cards. So we have ancestors, ascension, and higher perspective, which is so lovely. And then from the angel deck, we have willpower. And we also have, wow, you guys have so many cards. I'm gonna have to like, organize myself here we have you're already doing it stop overthinking keep facing your true north we have the great gathering it's all coming together intuitive hits soul tribe priestess how are you being called to step up and lead we have boundaries higher perspective ascension and ancestors so there's a lot to cover in this reading so let, let's get started so the first thing i'm seeing is you guys are already doing it you're already doing everything you can and this is just a big fat confirmation that you guys you're doing everything that you possibly can to get where you need to go you have a lot of willpower you're somebody who has a very intense energy and you may have Scorpio very very strongly in your chart you are really really going through a big transformation and 2020 was most likely a big transformative year and the fact that we have higher perspective ascension boundaries they're all to do with looking out at things from a perspective and the boundaries is all about you knowing when to stop, when to almost hide away and do your own little thing. And hiding away isn't a bad thing. It's basically just making sure you're checking up on yourself and you're doing everything you can to make sure your energy is in check. So I feel like with a throat chakra, you guys are really learning to speak your truth. I feel like you're learning to make sure that you guys are just basically saying everything you, you need to say. So this could also be that you guys are gonna be really focusing on your throat chakra. It could be that you guys are making sure your throat chakra is in check. It's basically showing you that you may need to connect with spirit as well. So this throat chakra card says, I develop a quiet mind that allows me to tune in and get in touch with my higher self or my spirit. I listen for the guidance that is there waiting for me to hear. I will benefit greatly by practicing meditation and stillness. So 2021 may be the year that you start meditating. Um, you may not have meditated before. I do feel with a clear quartz, I mean, this is all about meditation, this is higher power, this is literally everything we have here. So I do feel as if you are going to really transform your sensuality, other people's money, things like that. So you may have gone for a breakup and now you may have before shared money with somebody else and now you're going to have your own money, which is great. Either or, it's great, but I do feel like it's a massive change within your energy, within your money and how you see money and things like that. So we have, you're already doing it, stop overthinking, keep facing your true north. So basically it's saying that everything you're doing is correct. Basically we can always adjust ourselves and sort ourselves out and kind of, you know, help make sure we're doing the right thing. But at the end of the day, if you feel as if you, you know, need to adjust something, then you can. But this is basically saying that if you have been working on yourself, you are transforming, it may feel really uncomfortable because basically you're going into this new 
part of you that you've never been before and of course you're going to feel confused like it's not unusual to feel like that because you're basically going out of your comfort zone i feel like you guys are really doing the thing you are basically just stop overthinking and know that you are doing everything that you can you're doing just focusing on yourself basically and making sure that whatever you're doing it feels authentic to you and it's not because somebody else has told you to do it or you're i mean obviously you keep being inspired and get inspiration from other people but know that you are going to get a lot of ascension symptoms and things like that so just be careful with that and that can be like headaches throat pain and throat pain doesn't always have to be like a cold company it can literally be like feeling really stressed out and sometimes you're going to see me scratching my nose a lot in this reading because basically it's the, my guides and also i get very stuffed up in my nose so i do apologize if i sniff it's literally i have no cold or anything like touch wood but it's spirits basically it's when i channel i get very weird in the nose it just it's a thing so <laughs> with the great gathering it's all coming together intuitive hits soul tribe so your soul tribe is going to be drawn to you i do feel like you're going to meet your soul tribe this year most likely going to be people you are you're just really on your way for like i feel like you guys have gone through so much especially with family and i'm picking up on somebody who's a gemini or a taurus so if you're a gemini or a taurus watch him hi you don't have to be it could be some it could be that your mars is in taurus or gemini as well or your rising possibly it possibly rising it feels more like sun moon and mars and then we have the precepts. How are you being called to step up and lead? Part of you is being called to awaken into your power. It's being told to allow yourself to speak your truth and to be authentic to you. And if you feel like you're doing this for other people, then possibly step back and have a little think about what it is that you need to work on. Because part of you is being really called to step up and lead in some sort of area. And it could be in your career. It could be just literally stepping up and leading in your voice really it could be a, you could be a singer you could be an actress i just feel like there's a massive energy around just being your authentic self and i do feel like for those of you who have like really big hair me included it probably doesn't look like it now but i have a very i have a lot of hair <laughs> and sometimes it can be an insecurity because it makes you stand out and makes you feel like you're not the same with everybody else especially if you have especially like afro type hair like coils in your hair that sort of thing like coil type hair it can be really hard to you know control and it's not something you should control it should be something that's absolutely beautiful and any type of hair even if you have big hair like really fine hair if you have no hair like it's just embracing the parts of you that make you different and sometimes being different especially if we feel different on the inside it can feel really really confusing because you just want to blend in and just make sure that you're okay you know but i feel like this is part of you saying it's okay to be different and that's going to bring you towards your blessings because people are drawn to people who are different who stand out who have this gorgeous energy of just authenticity people especially going into the aquarian age people don't like inauthenticity you know we're going we're kind of more going away from you know fake beauty and things like that not that there's anything wrong with that that's amazing too but we are coming into a more natural world and it's falling apart essentially at the moment because we are coming into more of a natural state of being well i just nearly like <laughs> lit my finger on fire <laughs> oh my god okay let's just <laughs> it's okay so we have how you've been called step up and lead it's basically allowing parts of you to just open up and it could be that your heart chakra is really awakening too and trust me the parts of you that you really don't like they're going to be most likely your favorite parts as you, as you get older and as you learn that that's okay to be different and also you don't want to look like everyone else you don't want to be like anyone else you want to be you because you are you for a reason you're not like anyone else you are you for a freaking reason and we have willpower so don't allow those insecurities and parts of you to really hold yourself back having willpower is so amazing because you can get shit done you can get stuff done girl okay you can get stuff done so allow this part of you this gorgeous ruby here to really allow some sensual energy and also i'm hearing with me with scorpios it's sometimes we okay as a, i'm a scorpio myself this is why i do 18 plus readings i freaking love them um it's just a way of expressing our sensuality and if you feel nervous about doing that that's totally fine but allowing yourself to be vulnerable with sensuality can be an absolutely beautiful thing because we're all sensual beings everyone is a sensual being whether you're an animal whether you're a human i don't know an alien i don't know what aliens do i'm not part of their crew but <laughs> basically we are all sensual beings we all want to mate we all want to have you know whether you do or not but essentially we all have that drive within us most of the time 
Um, we want to connect and it, it may be friends, it may be family, it may be romantic relationships. We want to connect on some level. So it's really allowing yourself to connect with spirit and therefore connect with yourself. Trust yourself that things are gonna be okay. I feel like 2021, 2021 is gonna feel so much more clearer. And I'm feeling like to do this with my hands. Like I'm feeling something that's gonna be splattered in front of you beautifully. Like it feels like something is gonna feel so much more clearer. It's almost like you're being handed something even though things have felt really uncomfortable. And it's all about self-care as well. Like caring for yourself is gonna bring this into um, your energy. Okay, so I could say so freaking much. Um, there's so much I could say about all these things, but we need to move on, okay? <laughs> so let's have a look at your more in-depth section and then we're gonna have a look at some tarot. So we're gonna have a look at your love life first because I know a lot of you guys are gonna wanna look at that first. So let's have a look at love life. We're gonna pull two to three cards about love life, however many wanna come out. Okay, stability, that is beautiful, I love that. We will have a bit of stability, there we go, three cards. Okay, so let's start off with your love life and then let's do your career and then let's do general. Career, I'm really being drawn to say you're gonna be really guided by spirit. So if you're feeling really stuck, you're feeling confused, girl, you're not gonna feel stuck or confused for much longer, okay? You're gonna feel really, really excited. And it's all about your earthy stability. With the earth element coming out, this is all about you feeling stable, feeling safe within your community of friends and just in general yourself. The more you feel um, kind of safe within yourself, the more you feel as if you can really you know, go towards new things. Because when we feel unsafe, we're going to do things that are instinctual and not feeling, you know, 100% natural. It can be our ego talking. So underneath the deck, we have part of fortune increase. This is all about anything that you put your mind to is going to increase. So if you worry about things and worry about the future, it's going to increase. If you worry about things that haven't happened yet, it's going to increase. And basically, when you worry about something, it isn't really gonna change it. It's gonna be the exact same. It just means that you most likely made it more intense in your mind. And not everything is as intense as you think it is. And just realizing that you have so much power. We don't always realize we do, but we have so much freaking power. Like even like at any age, you know, we have so much power. We always have something to give and not, and not to say that, you know, we are all individuals as well. It's amazing being individual, even though it sometimes don't feel like it, girl. Like, it is, okay? So, first of all, love life. So let's have a look at this one. And then we'll have a look at career and then general. So, your love life, girl, okay? By the way, when I say girl, I don't mean just girls. I mean guys as well. It's just the way I talk when I get sassy. <laughs> so we have the earth element of stability, which is beautiful. Oh, girl, you're gonna get a lot of intense energies coming. It's good, intense energies is good you are going to have a gigantic revelation of some sort and most likely you're gonna go for a Jupiter return. If you aren't at the, at the age for a Jupiter return, because everyone goes through it at different stages, it is roughly, forgive me if I'm wrong, eight, 10 to 12 years, it like varies. Um, and it basically, when a Jupiter return, it basically when Jupiter is, you know, it's returning into your chart, it's returning around your chart. So what's happening is you may meet somebody through your friendships and it could be a friend first, um, it feels like magical and I love all the colors in this. I love the rainbow colors. I'm a massive rainbow girl So I feel a bit like my earrings. I don't know if you can see how colorful they are, but they're very pretty um, I feel as if the more you Kind of come into a stable place in yourself. You're going to attract some amazing gorgeous friendships and gorgeous a gorgeous relationship This isn't saying full-on love to me it is but it's saying just really slow it down. Um, if you are somebody to rush things, if you are somebody to make things go faster and worry about things to make it go faster, it's not gonna help. So I feel like what's really good for you is to just work on what that feeling is telling you. If you're feeling scared about maybe, scared of maybe you're not gonna attract somebody, then work on that because it will actually go away more. And what helped me was to realize that we have no control. And the more we just let go and let the control be, you know, as it is, then it's amazing. And I have worked a lot on the emotional side too. So it's not saying that, girl, it does not come back. It's just really working on the emotions that come up. Especially I feel like you guys could have let go of a lot of friends that weren't stable, that weren't turning up for you, that weren't giving you the time of day. So I feel like that you're going to manifest some really gorgeous relationships that are just on your wavelength. And you've been waiting for this for a very long time. 
and some of you guys could be about 30 and I'm hearing you could have waited about 10 years for your relationship um, and I feel like this relationship is going to absolutely change your life I'm feeling it's going to be amazing I love that beautiful I just feel like you're going to feel much more stable more stable than, you ever, than you've ever felt career I love these I love these two cards together we have Capricorn and we have Sagittarius 21 and 22 so I love the fact that we have two together most likely you'll meet this person romantically or friendship wise at work or through a friend like I said before I do as I say I do feel a lot of things are going to come through your friends a lot of things are going to come through um, people you know so it does feel like some of you guys may be a projector in human design. I do want to do a video on human design at some point, I feel, because I feel like it's very important. And basically, if you're a projector, if you're not, that's totally fine as well. But if you are, as an example, you have to wait until the opportunity comes to you. Opportunities will come to you because you project out energy naturally, and it will come to you naturally. Um, for others too, if you're a manifesting generator, you know, all those things, you can like literally just Google like uh, human design. So we have Capricorn and Sagittarius. So what I'm feeling is there's going to be really strong, stable offers coming in for you. If you are somebody who wants to start a spiritual career or you already have a spiritual career, this is just affirming to you that you're on the right path. Um, and basically you could, this is like so broad. As this is a general reading, it's very broad. So I'm gonna try and cover everything. So I feel like for those of you who, okay, really big message. My throat is suddenly starting to hurt. As we had the throat chakra at the start, I feel like you guys are learning to learning a different language. You may be a translator, you may be a sign language. I don't know what the actual name is, I apologize. Sign language translator or something like that. You are translating a certain language into another language. So basically if it's for possible deaf people or children, deaf children, it could be you're learning sign language. Um, I'm hearing ASL, I'm pretty sure that is. But I do feel with Capricorn, is that you guys are very very determined you're going to get loads of things done you're going to get so many projects and one gigantic project out there that is really going to bring you a lot of a financial abundance and it could be a i'm hearing a film it could be a film it could be um, a book i feel like it's something to do with spirituality and it could be connected to aquarius as well like aquarius the age aquarius age so it could be like um, a project online something like that it feels like a very spiritual prospect it feels like something that's really really important and i do feel sorry guys i've got your nose i feel like you could be meeting earth sign uh capricorn or sag or you could be meeting an aries because we have aries too this is the general energy so basically as we had a lot of transformational energy at the start this is going through still with the reading so we have aries i am number six uh, sorry 13 and Mercury retrograde reinvention number 51. So we may have a Mercury retrograde next year. I'm not entirely sure on that. Most likely we have a Mercury retrograde, I'm pretty sure, like every every year, every other year. Um, so I do feel as if you guys are, as I say, reinventing yourself. You are transforming. You are learning to be this strong, powerful human being who is not afraid of pushing his or her uh, or they kind of your energy. But without pushing your energy, you're really letting your power come through. And sometimes we're scared of being powerful. Sometimes we're scared of being seen because we're not used to being seen. We're not used to being seen and being somebody who, you know, is is out there in the public eye. Or but I just feel like you're getting noticed more as well. Mercury retrograde is all about, as I say, reinvention. It's something coming back around. So if maybe you didn't finish a project probably because of like the world and what's going on in the world, maybe you had trouble kind of getting something done. This time around, it may be finished and you may be looking at it again. You could be having an Aries friend coming back from the past. Most of you will be like, ew, <laughs> I'm not a fan of that, but that's okay. That might not happen. But if it does, you know, just stand your ground and say yes or no to this person if it's something that you want. I do feel you may have a really strong Aries in your life who really influences you as well. And it could be that you meet an Aries and it's amazing. And it's like a really strong, gorgeous connection. So that is that energy right there. Let's get you a couple of tarot. And let's see what wants to come through. Overall energy for 2021, please. We have transition. Of course we do. We have the hanged one, the hanged one, hanged man. We have the hermit. You guys are doing so much transformation. I know you guys are probably bored of hearing our transformation, transformation, but you really are. You're transforming so much. And it's not even to, to say that your whole like year is going to be transformed for transformation it means the most likely you've done a lot of transformation in this year and it could be a different type of transformation it could be that you manifest a gorgeous partnership a gorgeous friendship and it really changes your life something like that um but i do feel as if to really stand your ground i'm getting a massive energy around my heart and i'm getting really nervous 
I feel like there's parts of you that you really don't want to let go and because it feels unsafe it can be unnerving it can be really freaking scary so and that's okay it's normal to feel like that okay because we have the nine of swords and then we have the empress beautiful so some of you guys may be pregnant uh in the next few months uh it could be in the i'm here in the sixth month of 2021 so if you're not wanting to have a baby then obviously you know take precautions girls okay so basically just really focusing on your energy and the empress is all about taking care of yourself and obviously i do feel like this is more of a planned pregnancy but i do feel literally there's going to be so many couples coupling up because there's so many people waking up, especially the, um, the masculines, because obviously we're going into a more feminine age. So all the masculines are like, whoop. Um, I feel like, and whoop means waking up. <laughs> so I feel like we are all coming into um, kind of either, obviously we're coming together with ourselves, but we're also coming together with others. So you may be so excited that you've met this person because they're so amazing. You may just be like, Oh, <laughs> and there'll be like a little baby coming. So just to make sure, guys, just be careful, okay? And obviously when I say be careful, I feel like this, obviously this baby will be a blessing. So it'll be something that you want and it'll be like, oh, I didn't realise. And maybe for some of you guys, not to, obviously this is a general reading, so take it as it resonates. Some of you guys who I'm hearing feel like they may not be able to have a baby, suddenly have a baby, okay? So I also, I see for you guys, sorry, I've got itchy nose, guys. If you feel the need to kind of do any if you okay some of you guys who want to get pregnant and you're and you're worried about it i just i'm getting this massive energy of like this massive message to do some sort of spiritual work around it and it could be i'm hearing like meditating on it meditating on your womb space meditating on the like the situation and really tuning into your body and also try not to put too much kind of an emphasis on it because at the end of the day if this baby's meant to come it's meant to be there you know Babies are there to, you know, the soul is meant to be here. If it's meant to be here, it's meant to be here, you know? And I feel like for you guys, it's just not to be hard on yourself, girl. Like, this is your body. Your body's doing the best that it can, okay? And I feel, I feel obviously it's a very sensitive subject, but I really honestly feel so strongly to say all this thing, all these things. So I also am hearing um, rose quartz is going to be really healing for you, okay? But those, I feel like it's just really important messages. So obviously take it as it resonates. And obviously this is a general reading, so don't take this too seriously if it is really affecting you. Or if anything's affecting you, just don't, don't take this too seriously as a general reading. So, and say so going internal, and I do feel, sorry guys, this that was a very specific message for some of you, so I apologise that it wasn't for everyone. Um, I do feel as if there's definitely a balance between the yin and yang. I feel like you're really learning to balance like your feminine and your masculine. I think I did those on the right on the right hand as well. I think your masculine is the right hand, your left is the feminine. Um, so if you ever hold crystals, if you want to work on your mask, I keep touching the candle. If you work on your masculine, it's really good to put a crystal in your right hand. And if you work on, on your feminine, put your crystal in the left hand. Okay, I feel like there's a little bit of conflict happening. And I do feel it could be to do with, let me just double check this. Travel. It could be to do travel and also being scared of starting a new opportunity because you're scared it's not going to work out. That is fine, guys. Just work on it. Do your best. You're doing a really good job. Things will come naturally to you. And please don't force anything. It's all going to come very, very natural to you. So I just really love this card as well. I feel like you guys are doing so much soul searching. I hope that is. I feel like you guys are doing so much soul searching, though. If you can't see that, I'm just going to apologise. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, if you would like a private reading with me, all my information is down below along with my crystal shop. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's get started with your reading. So, group number two, you guys chose the beautiful pink opal. I am obsessed with this crystal. It is really good for your heart chakra. If you guys have seen any of my previous, like, previous videos recently, I always put this one in because it's just, it's just so beautiful. I love it. Anything to do with pastel colours, I'm like... Yes, queen. All right, so let's get started with your reading. Let me grab your cards. Okay, so let's get started with your reading. So, group number two. Okay, so let's start with these threads of fate oracle. We have, oh, I love this. We have play, speak your truth, and shadow. Oh, girl, I like these. Let me see if I can show you guys these cards. Sorry about the lighting if it goes a bit weird, guys. Okay, that's those. Pillar of light, your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. Unbound, releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. Beautiful. We then have beginnings and faith. Oh my God, I love those. They're amazing. Sorry guys, my 
pillow is really bothering me. And then we have the waning gibbous releasing gratitude, oh, releasing gratitude nurture acts of service. Chakras you guys have are the second chakra, sacral chakra, creative manifestation, and oneness and unity. Okay, so we have a lot of messages here. So let's get started with the first three. We have play, speak truth, shadow. So the first thing I'm picking up for you guys is that with your with the play energy, I feel like it is learning to take things not so seriously. And obviously that can be very hard. As a human, it can be pretty difficult because we just, we take things very seriously and we are forward looking beings. So you forget that there are like, you know, there is the sky, you know, there is things around us, but sometimes we're just too busy looking straight in front of us that we don't realize there are other things. And also, especially if you're a fixed sign, you're gonna take things quite seriously. You know, most of the time, fixed signs do take things really seriously because they are very intense, myself included. So I feel like you guys are learning to speak your truth. There's a lot of shadow energy that you're working on. And we have that twice here. We have releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives, and we have shadow. So you guys are really releasing your shadow energy. You're releasing your soul patterns. You're releasing the tie to basically be anyone else but yourself, essentially. So your vibration is rising. Your vibration is really, really rising to a point where you are able to manifest things that really are on your wavelength. You're learning to work on creative manifestation and your confidence. And because we have the sacral chakra and the solar plexus, sacral chakra is all about creativity. And the third chakra, the solar plexus, is all about confidence. It's where anxiety can come from as well. So with this, with these two cards, I do feel as if the more you work on your sacral and your solar, especially in this year coming up, you guys are really going to manifest something that's good for you, that feels like you can really be confident in your energy. And because we have beginnings of faith, I love these two cards, they make me very happy. It is basically saying, have faith that something is beginning, have faith that something is happening, that something is coming towards you and that it's gonna be okay and you don't have to worry about things you know, not, not working out because you are doing everything you possibly can. And I'm actually seeing you guys having a New Year's party. So I don't know if you've actually had one this year or next year's in 2020 or 2021. I do see you having like a New Year's party. I'm seeing like fireworks and kind of like pew pew, like explosions, <laughs> pew, pew, like really fun things. I'm seeing like rainbow colors and like little solo cups sort of thing and like beer and things like that and wine, <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. It feels like you're having a celebration. I feel like some of you guys are gonna be moving and you're going to have like a housewarming or like a christening, not, not so much christening, okay, christening uh, or a baby shower. I was gonna say baby warming and that is two things mixed together. It could be you have a baby and a housewarming, so it could be a combination of two. It sounds a bit odd, but if you wanna call it that, go, you, you go, girl, you do your thing. So I do feel like, sorry guys, my eyes like really, oh. There we go. <laughs> I feel like you guys are, as I say, your vibration is rising. I feel like you're releasing soul patterns and you're just doing you, you're being yourself. And with releasing old patterns and being more in your acts of service, being more of service to others, because you've done this, you're basically getting back what you've wanted. You're basically getting back what you've been giving to others. You're basically doing, doing your thing. And I do feel as if you have really worked on your shadows and it could be this is a year of working on your shadows if you feel like you haven't really done that this year, uh, as in 2020. I do feel as if it's really time to nurture yourself. And with the creative energy of the sacral chakra, it could be calling on you to be more creative or you're gonna get a new creative idea that's gonna help you to feel much more confident. It could be a start of a new business as well that really sustains you. So with the second chakra, it says, I have the ability to manifest and create positive outcomes in my life. It is time for me to manifest what I need. I ask myself, what do I need? And I think this is all about you having faith that you have the ability to manifest. And maybe this year has been really rubbish for you. For a lot of people, it definitely has in different ways. But I feel like for you, it really hasn't been what you've wanted it. And I think you've really kind of lacked faith in the universe, which is totally fine, guys. You know, that kind of comes in waves. And I feel like it's all about loving yourself and realizing love is gonna to come towards you in many forms. I feel like it's gonna be one significant male that's gonna be in your life. So it could be a partner or if you're not attracted to males, it could be a friend. Um, it, could it could just be a type of father figure type person. It feels like a male who is very masculine. So a very masculine male and they just are really good for you. And it could be a teacher. It could come in the form of a counselor. It could come in the form of a new partner, you know, or, or some sort of 
male that comes into your family it could be possibly like your parents remarry obviously you know if you if they're already single you know not like manifest it's like bad it just feels like as if they are going to give you what you've been lacking lacking you know it's always been there it just feels like you're really wanting to be around a masculine energy right now and I feel like possibly you live with a lot of uh, females or you live with the same gender as you are. So whoever you are, whether masculine or female or whatever. whatever. So we also have Shamael and Raziel. So if you guys resonate with those two angels, then those will be your guides. If you don't, that's totally fine. You call on Archangel Michael, Jesus, God, whoever, whoever you resonate with, call on them. They will help you this, this year. And I do feel it's really time for you to release everything that just no longer serves you, that holds you back, that makes you feel budging uncomfortable trying to swear and making you just feel like you can't be yourself and by the way guys if you are holding yourself back you know we can't blame anyone else apart from ourselves and sometimes we want to but sometimes we can't and actually once we realize that sometimes we're holding ourselves back that is the beauty of transformation it brings us towards a more beautiful state of ourselves okay so it's basically telling you, especially guys, if, if you guys are fixed signs, um, so Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, or, or actually getting Sag as well, um, Taurus, Taurus, Leo, Taurus, Leo, oh my God, my brain, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, one of those. Okay, so we're going to have a look at your love life, we're also going to have a look at your career and also your overall energy and we're going to have pull two to three cards for each and we're going to have a look at them separately and then we're going to pull some tarot. All right, let's see what wants to come through for my lovely group number two. So this is love life, love life, this is career. I'm going to pull again, we're not too sure. So love. we're going to do love life first. We're picking up on Legoland, that is so random. Maybe you guys are getting Lego, or one of your children's got, in, got Lego. Okay, I got really itchy nozzle. Ooh, my nose keeps itching because it's my spirit guide, so it's not that I have anything wrong on my nose. It's just, it's spirit. They like to go, woo on my nose. It's so annoying. <laughs> okay. Career, I want to get three cards for career. And then, oh, you guys have Capricorn, same as group number one. I'm going to just ask my guides to just stop itching my nose because it's really bugging me. Can you stop, please? Thank you. I'm trying to concentrate. Right. <laughs> They're like, ooh, <laughs> let's get some messages going, girl. Okay. <laughs> Right, general energy. They're basically telling you to stop overanalyzing. You guys are really overanalyzing a lot of things. And because you are releasing a lot of energy that just no longer serves you, it can feel really uncomfortable because you feel the need to think, well, why is nothing happening? And it's because you guys are coming into a gigantic area of abundance. You're coming into this gorgeous energy where you can feel abundant and you can feel safe within yourself. And I feel like it's gonna come from going out of your comfort zone. And it doesn't have to be that you go somewhere that you feel really uncomfortable. It feels more to do with the fact that you are letting yourself see and feel and be in a different environment in some way, or maybe taste food that you've never tasted or be around somebody you thought, oh, I'm not too sure about you, something like that. So love life. We have Cancerian, the sun and Aries. So you guys may be a uh, fire sign or a Cancer. This can also be that you're gonna meet a Cancerian or a water sign. I feel like you are feeling more into your love life. I feel like you're going to feel more in your love life. And I feel like you're going to manifest a Pisces, Aries, Leo, Taurus, Virgo, or Sag. I actually heard the word Sag, but instead of an S, it was a V. So that was weird, but okay. <laughs> uh, that's my Scorpionic energy right there. Just like, hi, here's Sag with a V, <laughs> you know. I hope you guys know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, so we have Aries, we have um, the sun, and we have Cancer. This is all about you shining your light and being your most authentic self and nurturing yourself. I feel like you're gonna be appreciated by people who, when you nurture yourself, you are then embracing and allowing new energy to come in. And I do see you guys partnering up, especially if you are a female wanting a male specifically. Obviously, that's not for everyone, of course, but I do see partnerships happening. I do see partnerships happening. And I see for some of you guys, if you have like a young boy, um, they're going to grow up and be very handsome. That's just what I'm hearing. <laughs> um, I'm hearing some of you guys might have a, a child who's very into music and they want a singing career. I'm just hearing that as something. Uh, it might be you want a singing career or you were, when you were younger, you wanted a singing career. It's basically being seen. So you may meet a musician if that's something that you're interested in. Obviously, you, have to, you need to be in that type of area. So if you're a singer, you'll meet another singer. That's what I'm seeing. So... 
I do see you also, you could be a Cancerian meeting in Aries, Aries meeting a Cancerian, um, or you could just be allowing yourself to be seen more in your life. And I feel as if you are allowing yourself to just be more of who you are and not to stop yourself from feeling the things that you feel and just being authentic and doing you, girl. And Bob is back. I have a little fly, he's called Bob, and he's just chilling. And I think they were from my plant that I had. And I didn't, my plant was doing fine. She was, she was okay, girl. But obviously I had some flies attached to it. But Bob, he's still back. I got rid of the plant, but Bob is like, I ain't going anywhere, bitch. <laughs> I'm going to stay here. <laughs> okay, so he's just going to be flying around. So if you see a fly, that is Bob. Right, everyone, say hi to Bob. <laughs> um, all right, so we have Capricorn and we have water element and Aquarius. So this is to do with career. So I feel as if you are very determined in your career. You are most likely going to be changing up your scenery. So you could be uh, getting a new office if you work from home. Uh, I feel as if some of you guys are getting roller skates for some reason. It could be you start a roller skating YouTube channel or TikTok or something like that. I know, you, I know rollerblading is like really popular on TikTok at the moment. Um, I don't ever really go on TikTok, but that is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing like rainbow skates or something like is on your feet and it has wheels. So it could be ice, it could be skates, it could be like those ones with the three wheels or the four wheels, you know, something like that. Um, it could even be wheelies, I don't know, heelies? Wheelies? I don't know, I sound really old. <laughs> um, I'm not. <laughs> okay, so I feel, I'm an old soul, guys, okay? I always sound old when I'm talking. So I feel like for you guys, you are really allowing yourself to be creative in your work. I feel like it's also you are realizing what you want and what you don't want out of work. And I am seeing a little bit of a blockage for some of you guys who are worried about getting a new job, but you don't know how to start. You will get there, okay? And the best advice I can give you is to meditate on it and to take your time. You don't have to leave work like that. But as soon as you get a download about leaving, it might be really like, I'm hearing impetus. Is that the right word? Like it might be like impulsive to like go straight and be like to your boss, I can't do this anymore. I feel like you, a lot of you guys are going to be doing that um, and going to be finding some new people because of it and maybe meeting a Capricorn or an Aquarius. I do feel you're going to um, learn a lot through your vocal cords, through your speech. And you may have somebody who talks to you a lot through Instagram or messaging you who just really vibes with you and is really on your wavelength. And with the water sensing, I feel like you're sensing more into your job. You're being trying to be more intuitive or you are being more intuitive in your work life. And you're allowing yourself to just feel into what feels right for you. And I do see you guys might be um, synchronized swimmers. You might be wanting to be a swimmer. Um, you might be going swimming more. I feel like swimming is just going to be really healing or having more baths. Like things where you're submerged into water. Just being really um, able to... I'm seeing you guys doing rituals with water or, or like spells. So I just feel that might be interesting. Or maybe even manifestation technique with water or something like that. All right, so overall energy, we have Virgo, we have Yod, Destiny. I love the word Yod. It just makes me laugh every single time. Yod, um, don't know why it just does. And then we have the 12th house of escape. You guys are very picky. <laughs> and what I mean by this is you, you are very sensitive and most likely you have quite a sensitive lifestyle. And this being as if you may have to cleanse yourself more. You maybe have to be somebody who works on their health more. You may be somebody who tr helps people to transform. Therefore, you may actually manifest people who really aren't good for you and then you transform them and then they go out your life suddenly. I feel as if you're learning to figure out how you work and how, you're, how you work within your lifestyle. And I do feel because we have Virgo, there's definitely something changing within your 12th house and this could be your karma. So this can be your health. It could be you suddenly get a massive energy of lovely health. And your health starts to turn around, something like that. Obviously, this as it resonates as a general reading. Uh, the Virgo is the sixth house of health. It's also about your daily routines. It's your acts of service, things like that. So you could want to do a job that allows you to have more acts of service. It could be for those of you who have Virgo really strong in your chart, something is very cha much changing. And you are now having a really strong energy of releasing any old karma that's no longer yours. And Virgo risings, especially in Virgo suns, have gone through so much rubbish in the past like 10 years, it's unreal. Us people who have Virgo very strongly in our chart, it can be very uncomfortable. And it has been the last like 10 years, it's been very weird. So I do feel like there's a massive amount of karma being released because we do have the 12th house. So I'm gonna see what's after this 12th house energy because this is very interesting. We do have Jupiter, which is all about that massive change of reinvention and abundance coming in. So let's see what's happening with this third house, sorry not third house, 12th house. 
beautiful. You could be manifesting a Pisces, and I think, or a Libra. And this is also to do with your routine. As I said, yeah, we have the sixth house of routine, and we also have Saturn truth. So basically, every if you've had to deal with a Pisces or a Libra in your life, um, or you're learning to balance out your spirituality and your 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 romantic life. I feel as if you're going to now, now realise why things happened the way they did. Um, I definitely feel like a lot of you guys are going to be meeting a Pisces or a Libra possibly in rom romantic life. Um, it just feels like they're going to tell you a lot and they're going to be able to show you a lot about yourself. You're going to learn a lot from them. And the 12th house, when we release that, and the 12th house is Pisces, it's ruled by Pisces. So it's basically saying that you're going to manifest a lot of spiritual abundance. And this is basically going to turn into physical abundance. It's going to be first spiritual and then it's going to be physical. So as long as you are working on yourself and getting a lot of like, like shoulder pain. I'm sorry guys if you can hear my shoulders crunching. They do that a lot. <laughs> so I'm sorry if you guys can hear that. But basically you are coming into stability. And I feel like, as I say, when I said you guys are picky, I didn't mean that in a bad way at all. You could just be very specific. Guys, I have Virgo very strongly in my chart. So... I'm talking about myself too, but Virgos can be very specific because they see things in detail. They see things when they're in detail. When somebody sees, especially Virgos and Earth signs, they see things in detail. They don't really miss anything. So I feel like for you guys, you have really looked at your life in detail and you thought, why is this happening the way it is? And I feel like because you're going to have a realisation of why it happened the way it did and you're going to realise that it happened for a reason and it was meant to happen like that and it wouldn't have happened any other way really i feel like you wouldn't have gotten where you are now if it didn't happen the way it did okay whatever that may be and i feel like you will now learn to really work on yourself sixth house is to do with health it's daily routines things like that so the more you work on yourself and your health yourself and your health then it's going to be really good for you well you guys are maybe bringing out a cookbook or something i see you guys cooking different meals like that are really healthy but also could just be vegan or just organic you know things that are more healthy just seeing you guys being more diligent about your environment. Wow, we have a lot of swords. Okay, so you guys are feeling very uncomfortable with your life right now, I feel. And you're feeling like I'm not sure about 2021. I'm like, eh, whatever. Some of you guys are very excited, but I feel like a lot, for the most part, a lot of you are very unhappy or confused about it. There is an energy of confusion and feeling, feeling like you're never going to manifest what you want. And I feel like it's going to come. It's, it's going to come, okay? It's going to come to you. And I'm seeing, okay, this is very random, but I'm seeing some of you guys who are wanting a masculine or a male. I'm, I'm seeing specifically a male, whether they're masculine or feminine. I'm seeing somebody who's a Pisces and they've got a lot of tattoos. I see you manifesting someone like that. If you are single and wanting a partner, that's what I'm seeing for some of you guys. Could be a, could be a female Pisces also with um, tattoos. But I'm seeing mainly male, but it could be both. Um, could even be their sister or something, I don't know. <laughs> um, so basically... We have the Ace of Swords, Three of Swords, Dawn of Swords, um, we have the Magician. I feel as if you guys have been for a lot of upheaval and you're now going to release it. Allow, it's now going to be released, it's now going to go, it's now going to go bye-bye because we don't need her anymore. I feel as if you are having a massive breakthrough within your mental energy and you, if you guys are suffering with a bit of mental health stuff, um, sorry guys, I've already itchy here. Um, if you guys are suffering with mental health and you're really struggling, just know that you're going to have some sort of breakthrough and the more you focus on it and, and work with it as it comes up and not to judge yourself. The last thing you want to do is judge yourself because, I mean, we judge ourselves all the time, especially if you've got a mental health disorder. It can be really friggin' uncomfortable. And I know from personal, you know, experience that can be really difficult, especially Virgos like are really hard on themselves anyway. <laughs> if you're not a Virgo, don't even worry about it. But for those of you Virgos who I'm talking to right now, can be very very uncomfortable because we're very specific <laughs> and we see things that are like oh my god i can't i can't ignore that <laughs> um so basically i feel like you guys are going to be releasing a lot i feel like you're reflecting a lot and you're definitely going to get a lot of synchronicities coming through you're going to have a lot of manifestations physical manifestations a lot of calls and a lot of um yeah just a lot of communication i do feel like meetings are going to go really well and zoom calls are going to go really well and i just see you guys being heard more it's absolutely beautiful so Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. Also, my crystal shop is down below. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you. I hope you have a lovely day. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Let's get started with your reading. So let's see what's going on for you guys in 2021. So you guys chose this beautiful amethyst cluster. I friggin' love amethyst. I think it's so gorgeous, especially when it's in cluster form. It can be very, very stunning. So let's get started and have a look at your reading. 
Okay, so I feel like you guys are really learning to be more compassionate towards yourself. I feel like you are really struggling to be compassionate towards yourself as well. You have certain standards that you feel like you have to uphold and be and do. So I feel like you're really learning to let go of those standards and just be yourself. I do see for you guys, you have the, the less cards of the group. So I feel like you guys are basically have done a lot of the work. So I feel like a lot of what I'm going to be looking into is going to be more physical manifestations and not so much mental, which is really, really good. So obviously we have need, we do need to go through the mental stuff, but I do feel for you it's really important that you have done the work and I'm seeing you guys have done the energy. You, you've worked through this energy and I feel like you've really worked on yourself as well. So let's see what else we have. Dance with life, do something to change your energy. You guys have felt very stuck. Um, you guys have felt like you're kind of in between two phases and a lot of you guys have been really struggling to manifest what you want to manifest and really be in that energy. So basically do something to change your energy. You may be a fixed sign. You may be somebody who very much fixates on things and can't stop themselves from looking at things instead of moving, moving your energy away from it. So basically not taking life too seriously and doing something to change your energy will really help you to get into your own body and being like really grounded in your energy as well because when we're in like our mind it can be really hard to pull things down from the ethers we have metatron miracles a lot of you guys could be getting pregnant i feel like those of you who want to get pregnant will be planned pregnancy for a lot of you guys not all of you but you know most of you will be planned okay I feel like miracles is basically showing us that there's going to be some really interesting energy around things that you never expected was going to come in, is going to come in now. Things that you didn't think were going to be here are now here. So I do feel as if you guys have really lacking, are lacking faith in the universe right now or yourself. And knowing that when we, we, we go through phases, you know, it goes up and down. I feel like obviously 2020 has been a really weird year. It's been a year of transformation and spiritual growth. And for physical growth, you know, it's basically about how we see ourselves and what is our values and what values we have. So I feel it's really important to focus on your light and what you can give to the world. And also what your assets are. Focus on the good parts of yourself and knowing that they are enough and being different is enough too. So we have Vertex, Karmic Point, Sinistry, Fated Connection, Turning Point. Let's move these over a little bit. I'm really getting drawn to fated connections. I feel like you guys are going to meet somebody who's very much on your wavelength. This energy is very interesting. I feel like it's almost like I'm not meant to look into this energy. So a lot of you guys have had readings that they've been very vague around your love life. And I do feel around your love life is gonna be very, very interesting. The way you manifest this person is gonna be so weird or so like, holy crap, I didn't think this would ever happen. I feel as if you guys are also working on your heart chakra. It could be a lot of things happening around the chest. You could be getting like colds and they go straight to your chest or something. Um, I do feel as if you are releasing a lot of chest energy, like a lot of uh, heart chakra energy. And because you're working, it could be working on your heart chakra or could have previously been working on your heart chakra through 2020, you're going to manifest the best connection for you that is on your wavelength, that's on your vibration. It's something that just really suits you. It is a connection of a freaking lifetime because you've been wanting this for your lifetime. And for those of you who have a lot of just karmic energy within your love life or in your romantic or family life, you're going to have that change because you have more kind of control over it. Not so like, like control, you know, we don't know how much control we have, but you are focusing on the good parts of what you can give to a relationship and realizing that and not to give up on your connections, you know. These things happen for a reason and because because we have karmic points this is really lovely this is all about you and how you are kind of releasing a lot of your old karma you know you're no longer that person you were a year ago you're no longer that person you were a week ago or a day ago so you are allowing things to change and is there going to be a massive massive turning point in your life i'm so excited for you it's gonna be amazing so i'm going to read all of these quotes on here because i feel like they're very very important so heart chakra fourth chakra peace I will meditate and be peaceful and calm in my interactions with others and the world. Peacefulness comes to me in giving up the love of, sorry, <laughs> I'm gonna say it again. Peacefulness comes in me giving up the love of power for the power of love. I invite peace to be a part of my life and I make time to experience my own inner stillness daily. I continually develop an inner sense of calm and I trust that everything will be right. 
Feeling good about myself will help bring peace into my life. I love that so much. I feel as if you guys have been extremely hard on yourselves and it's, it's normal when we struggle to or are waiting for something to manifest and it takes a long time. Basically, it's, it's knowing that you don't have control over everything and to continually find a sense of calm within yourself, especially if you guys are stressing out and getting really angry. If you have a lot of anger coming up, sometimes that can be your heart chakra clearing, just to let you know, guys know, if you feel very, very stressed out and you're like, why do I feel so stressed out? It can literally be because your heart chakra is really being triggered and being very confused. So just put it out there, guys. Okay, so let's have a look at your love life, career in general. And we're gonna pull some cards for each. So we're gonna see normally two to three cards is kind of uh, enough. So let's have a look at your, at your love life. Let's see what's going on there. Let's do a couple of shippers. Okay, let's see what's going on. Love life. We have Pisces, so you could be meeting a Pisces. Somebody who's very spiritual, they don't have to have Pisces sun, they could have Pisces Mercury, Pisces rising. Sorry guys, I have to adjust myself. Pisces Venus, something like that. Pisces Mars, did I say that already? <laughs> um, sixth house of routine. Love life, love life. North Node Life Purpose. Pull one more for your love. I'm actually going to pull five. Leo, Mercury. Okay, so career. Let's get one more for career. And your overall energy, please. Let's get a couple more. I feel like you loads and loads of cards because I feel like you guys have lots of interesting messages. I'm hearing you guys are connecting to your angel. So you may have a new angel that you really connect to and that feels, you know, like it's for you. I'm hearing angel, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Michael. All the M's. Um, and we also have Venus Love in the, is it, no, it's not in the reverse, upright. Love Life. When this came out, my heart chakra did a really intense thing. I feel like you guys are really focusing on your heart chakra, definitely. Your love life is at the center of pretty much everything this year that's coming and because we have love underneath the deck this is something that is literally about to come into your life anything that's underneath the deck is something that's basically kind of underneath everything and then we have solar eclipse revolution things are about to get real interesting your love life could really improve around the solar eclipse that we have um in sag is it uh, about around the 21st of december and i feel like it's going to basically explode we're gonna have one more and a lot of communication coming from people. I feel like when you, if you do meet your soulmate this year, which most likely you will, or a kindred spirit, this is going to be somebody who really changes your life. It's going to be very, very unexpected. I see you having a barbecue with this person. Seeing some of you guys are Australian, and you have, like barbecues are a real big thing in Australia. I feel because it's always hot. <laughs> in England, not so much. Um, but I feel like you guys are going to have a barbecue with your person that you just really, really love. Okay, so you could be meeting a Leo, a Pisces, and picking up on Sag, Aries, Taurus, Virgo, all that all that lovely stuff. You guys are really going to have your uh, routines change because you're going to meet somebody, I feel, for a lot of you guys. You're going to meet someone who really resonates with you. Obviously, this is a general reading, so take it as it resonates. This is going to be somebody who is going to change your daily routine. So you're going to be focused basically because when you when we have something change into our lives, of course, our daily routine is going to change. So this is going to be part of your life's purpose, this, this love life. Your love life is going to be part of your life's purpose. And it's going to be, it could be that it really affects your spiritual work in a good way. So essentially, say if you are a blogger or you are somebody who's influential to a lot of people, it could be a therapist. I feel like the way your love life changes, it's going to change your energy. It's going to upgrade you. And they're going to be very, very helpful and assisting you in your career. And I do feel as if they're going to help you bring you towards your life's purpose. You may meet them when you become more into your life's purpose or you start communicating more. I do feel like it's somebody who you're going to meet abroad. Um, it could be that you meet them when you're going away or they could be through online. You could literally meet them um, and they're from a different country or they're literally in the same country as you and they just hit you up on Instagram or I'm seeing like a dating app. Um, for those of you who don't really like dating apps, it won't be a dating app. But for those of you who are on dating apps, then it will be a dating app. 
The career part of your world here is Saturn return age, water element sensing and third house of messages. We have the third house twice. We have Mercury mind, Mercury rules the third house and then we also have third house of messages. I feel you guys can meet this person through work as well. Um, I feel like it's going to be a very interesting connection. It's not going to be like maybe working with them. It could be one day or it could be or one day they're a new a sort of like worker in the workplace and then the next day you're like kissing each other. <laughs> it feels like an immediate connection. It feels like you guys just know each other and you want to be in this person's presence and you're not at all debating whether this is somebody you want to hang out with or don't want to hang out with. Even if it's somebody you just be friends with first or have just a connection of some sort, it doesn't have to be romantic. You just really wanna be around this person and you're just really in a love energy. It doesn't have to be that you are full on romantic about this person, but it does feel as if because you are really working on your, your life's purpose, you're really coming into a really gorgeous energy. So Saturn return age. You guys may be having a Saturn return, maybe affecting your career in a good way. It may be you're going to go on a different path and you're going towards something that really suits you. You're going to get some really lovely messages around your career. There's going to be some lovely energy back and forth with talking to people that are really on your wavelength. I feel like if you're a channeler, you're somebody who leaves a group, uh, shamanic work, if you are a therapist, I do feel as if this is going to really affect your work. It's going to expand your work. And even if you are having a Saturn return, not everyone does. It depends on what age you are. It kind of goes up and down. Most of the time, the first Saturn returns are mainly uh, age 21, 13, 21 and 28 to 31. And then it kind of goes on from there. Um, those are like the really big ones because it's basically you maturing, Saturn return is you maturing. So it may be you have a sudden realization about your work life, you're thinking, I don't wanna do this anymore, you know? Or I wanna do that, you know, I wanna do something different. Or you just really change up the way you speak in your work life and you are becoming much more compassionate for yourself. And you may be having where your heart chakra is opening, you're attracting much more of people who aren't on your wavelength because you are realizing what your worth is. And you're then going to realise that maybe this isn't the best workplace for you. Or it could be the opposite way around. You think, actually, I really want to work here. Something like that. Interviews are going to be very good for you this year. As long as you're confident and you feel confident or you're just faking the confidence. Basically, as long as you believe in yourself, you're going to get there. And you're going to get the job that you really want. Okay, so overall energy. We have Saturn. We have really big... We have big planets here. Saturn. We had... And we had... Um, what was this one? Saturn return and we have Saturn. We just have Saturn twice. So guys, you're gonna go through some really big stuff. You're gonna realize why you went through what you went through. You have fourth house roots. You could be moving house. Yeah, earth element as well. We have the earth element here as well. So the earth element is all about stability and fourth house is about stability too. So you may be moving house and becoming much more grounded in your home. It could be you bring in some more plants. You allow, or you allow yourself to like decorate your house more. Uh, you have a new pu like a puppy. Um, I do see something happening within your career around your work, especially if you work from home. Um, you become much more stable. You manifest more money. You could manifest something that you really want, like buying something. You could manifest your first mortgage, uh, your first home. You could um, be saving up for a house as well. I see you guys meeting a Cancerian. If you're a Scorpio, you could have a Scorpio Cancerian kind of connection, or both it could be you Cancerian meeting a Scorpio. I see that you're also, you could be a Scorpio with Cancer in your chart as well, either or. You are going to be going through a gigantic transformation with how you feel about yourself. And Neptune is Pisces ruled as well. So it could be the way you see a Pisces or a Cancerian could be changing. I just see you having so much more compassion for yourself. And also you're no longer sacrificing things out of needing to have everything. You're just being yourself. And you're like, if it's not gonna work for me, it's not gonna work, it's, I'm not gonna manifest it. It's not meant to be. And I feel like as long as you're in that energy, it can be really it's more comfortable than feeling like I have to do this. I have to manifest things in a certain way. And you don't always have to manifest things in a certain way. You just have to be yourself. And work. I feel like one of the best manifesting techniques is to work on your emotions. Because if you are feeling stuck within yourself, you're maybe not going to see the wood for the trees. You're not going to see something that you really want. So essentially, work on your emotions is the best thing, girl. Okay. Queen of Rings, so Queen of Pentacles, practicality, generosity, your work is going to be amazing. You're going to really be doing well in your work, in your career. I feel like you're going to definitely meet a romantic partner, especially those of you who want a male. Like, wow. Um, those of you who've been doing the work, perfect, Six of Cups, serenity and healing. 
I feel like you're going to have healing around your career. I'm hearing no, no longer imbalance. Sorry, guys, a bit of fluff on my table. Um, no longer feeling insecure or unsatisfied with your career. You're going to feel much more comfortable. Product and getting like anxiousness in my solar plexus. So I feel like you guys are really nervous of changing your career, but that's okay. Sometimes that happens. The same with education. You don't actually have to stay in that education if you really don't enjoy it. And you're going to really, I feel like it's going to awaken you to something that you really want to do. Um, okay. We have productivity, endurance, optimism, and freedom with the fall. Okay. So this is the page of pentacles. King of Swords, he's pretty. I feel like this could be an air sign you're manifesting to or somebody who's just extremely intelligent. I feel like this person is, wow, and they're probably quite rich. <laughs> they have a lot of monies. Um, I don't like the word rich, just they have a lot of monies. They take care of themselves. It could be an earth sign as well. Um, culmination and satisfaction, you're gonna feel whole and complete in 2021. I don't feel like maybe at the first couple of months, but around like November, Everything's going to be there for you, I feel. And all oh, it's going to be, you're seeing it more. You're going to see more things happening. I just feel like this year is like preparation for this for 2021. I genuinely feel that. I feel like it's like emotional stability, figuring yourself out, figuring out all the things you can't tangibly touch, like, you know, imagination, your dreams, really working for a lot of subconscious patterning. And then next year, it's like, boom, boyfriend, girlfriend, house, money, feeling stable within yourself, getting a baby, you're not... All those things getting a baby, I love that. And then the last one we have is justice. Everything is coming back around for you. If you've been single for five, 10, 30 friggin' years, you're going to have balance, you're going to have karma rewritten, and everything is going to be amazing. You're going to have karma completely rebalanced. I'm sorry if you can't see that card, but you're going to have karma completely rebalanced. And I feel like you're going to understand why everything happened the way it is. And I do feel your fifth house is really being regenerated. So uh, your romance energy, uh, you're going to have a lot of romance. The more creative you are, the more expressive you're going to feel and the more amazing you're going to feel. You're going to feel more free. And I feel like you could be really channeling a lot of Sag energy where you just feel like you want to rip off the band-aid and just feel free and just run around naked. <laughs> run around naked around a fire, but don't burn your titties. <laughs> um, that's what I'm literally seeing. I'm seeing somebody being like, walking around fire. Also, there's this film. I cannot remember it, but I friggin' love this scene. And it's amazing. I really can't remember what this film is called, but it's amazing. And she's, she's like, um, she's singing like my neck, my back. Is it that one? I don't know what this film is called, but it's this woman and she's famous. <laughs> I cannot remember any of these words. What is this film called? There's this woman and she has to pretend that she's this person's wife. And then she goes to his house and then this this man has this old uh, old lady, old grandma, who is like getting her to dance around a fire. And she's like, oh, to the window, to the wall. It's just so funny. I don't know what, okay guys, one of you is gonna know what this film is called. Please comment it down below because my brain is, is fried, okay? Thank you so much for watching guys. If you'd like a private reading, please look down below. All the information is down there and my rates. If you wanna check out my crystal, yes. Yes, <laughs> if you want to check out my crystal sh shop, please do. All the information is down below. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you very, very soon. Much love. Bye bye. Hello, group number four. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So, you guys chose the beautiful Rhodonite Tower. I'm obsessed with these. They are gorgeous and they are very grounding. They represent the heart and the root chakra. So I feel like you're going to be very grounded in your love life and you just romance and connections. I feel like you're going to be having a really beautiful time with that. Let's put her there. Okay, so let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Sorry, I need to just adjust myself. Okay, so let's start off with the Threads of Fate Oracle. We have patience and self-love. Beautiful. This is literally the crystal of self-love. It's actually insane. So the more you root yourself and ground yourself, the more you're going to allow this almost romantic love to come towards you and, and unconditional love. So you guys have really struggled with self-love. I feel like you guys are really birthing the new you. I mean, we have um, patience and self-love. Patience is this egg. And with uh, self-love, this is a peacock. Yeah, this is a bird. So essentially you're rebirthing yourself. You are rebirthing and you're coming into this beautiful energy of being yourself. And I really, really love this patience. I feel like this is very much you cracking open and seeing the real you and having patience with your journey and knowing that every 
every level of your self-love journey is precious. Even if it's really friggin' uncomfortable, that is where you learn, <laughs> you know, that is where you learn those different parts of you and the parts of you that you want to improve or change. So let's have a look at the next card we have is Metatron Mercy. Okay, very interesting. Let's get to the other cards. We then have Mirror. Who or what is triggering you? You guys like, I'm sorry, my jaw like is really hurting. I feel like you guys are holding back what you want to say. I feel like either your mother figure or father figure you really don't get along with and you're struggling to like work with them at the moment. Trust the niggle. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? That's in the reverse. And then we have break the chain, ancestral patterns, healing, rewrite in the future. We then have Jupiter, expansion, gratitude, morality, enlightenment. I love Jupiter. He's one of my fave planets. He always brings the goods. And then we have the sixth and seventh chakra, third eye and crown. You guys are very more much in the physical. You're very much in your mind a lot and it's learning to trust yourself and trust things that aren't always physical. You may be somebody who is an earth sign, uh, most likely a Virgo or a Capricorn, could be Taurus as well. But I do feel that you are very, you're very earthy. And even if you haven't got any earth in your chart, I feel like you're very much about, I have to know what's gonna happen. And I do feel as if you are learning to trust yourself. And the more you trust yourself, this is trusting the universe. The universe is us, you know, we are part of the universe. We are molecules, we're a spirit in a fleshy, floppy body. <laughs> you know, a fleshy, floppy, watery body. So I feel as if you guys are really understanding your spiritual truth. You may have just, you know, found my channel randomly. You may have just, just started to kind of find your spiritual journey and you may have had a crystal and then from there and then you got tarot cards and then you got more crystals and then you got readings and you know it it snowballs from there so i feel like you guys are really coming into a new type of spirituality with yourself i feel like you need to trust that when things fall out of your life it's not always a bad thing okay and i do see you reaching new heights whenever we get a, i get a peacock in a card like a, like a photo of a, or a peacock or a drawing. It's all about being seen and allowing your masculine energy to fly free. So basically having balance in your masculinity. So sensuality, creativity, executing this energy naturally and not pushing it and forcing it. I do feel like you do have a lack of patience and you do feel need to force things and need to know what's gonna happen. This is your ego saying, girl, you're not gonna get it. And that's not true. It's basically you need to trust yourself and know that you will get it Sometimes the timing is always off, but look at what we're doing right now. Because if you aren't focusing on now and you're focused on the future or the past, you're never living fully here. You're never living in, you know, now. And there is no past or, or present. Sorry, there's no past or future. There's only the present. It's only what we think of the future, you know. So as long as we're working on ourselves now, we are, you know, doing better for ourselves tomorrow, you know. And I feel like it's pushing through that uncomfortable energy of what's triggering you and realizing that there's some things that may be kind of, yeah, I feel like two things with the fact we had trust the niggle and what is triggering you. There is a niggle in your energy that's kind of saying this isn't right or this is right, go towards it girl. I feel like you're gonna get lots of downloads. I feel like you are tuning into more your crown chakra or your third eye and or you're both, or you're learning to do that more. You could be wanting to start a spiritual career or you're doing something more spiritually. So it could be that you are looking at things from a higher perspective. You are learning that the world is, well, not the exact world, but humanity is a bit cuckoo. And you were like, I don't wanna be a part of it anymore. I just want to be in my own lane. I don't wanna be in my hermit mode or I want to be in a more, um, in a community that's more good for me. You know, something like that. Just really being aware of your environment. I feel like some of you guys are skaters. I don't know why. Some of you guys are like, like to skate and to um like on a skateboard not skates maybe skates or you may be getting like a new um a skateboard or surfboard or something like that and or you could be getting like yeah surfboard just something that's transport <laughs> i feel like it's something that's fun maybe a bmx bike i'm seeing like an electric scooter so many people have got electric scooters recently i have no idea why that suddenly come about, but they're really popular. So I feel like some, so you guys might be doing that as well. Maybe getting a new car, something like that. I feel like some of you guys are 16. That's very random, but that's what I just saw. I saw some of you guys are like 16. And just to note, this is just a really strong message for you guys, especially you are just 16, um, to trust yourself and know that not everything is a big deal, okay? That is what I learned, okay? That is what I learned. So 
you guys are definitely breaking the chain you're releasing ancestral patterns you're healing you're rewriting the future obviously if you're not 16 that was just like a very specific message you are also expanding on everything that you've worked on and basically things that haven't manifested in 2020 will most likely manifest in 2021 can't guarantee travel and things like that but i do feel there's expansion there is reaching more without having to fully go out there and do it that's what i'm feeling okay and i feel like you're breaking the chain really really breaking the chain which is good like breaking away from ancestral patterns and needing to know exactly what's going on and it could be in your family that a lot of your family are very impatient and you could have carried that on so it's really realizing that you need to maybe shift this or work through it and know that you are safe you're being guided and the universe has got your back girl okay so six chakra i'm open to understanding the spiritual truths behind the situations occurring in my life right now i offer my wisdom to assist others along their path I practice discernment and listen deeply within my truth. I feel that's really interesting. I feel that's so accurate for you guys is just understanding yourself and knowing that your path is meant to be there. You know, not every path is the same. If it was, it would be very, very boring. And all the messages I'd be doing right now would be all the same. So it's important to know and trust what you're feeling. And if you're feeling anxiety, rest. Put your phone down, go outside. Going outside is so amazing. Like we forget that going outside is so amazing because we get so comfortable, we forget, you know? So we also have the seventh chakra. I feel the divine force flowing through me. I honor this and I know that it flows through all. I am calming knowing that I am one with all and I contemplate and meditate on this fact. I regularly remind myself that we are all from the same source and that we are all on a journey as spiritual beings experiencing this physical existence. I am aware that I have a choice as to how I respond to what is happening in my life. My responses have an enormous effect on my spiritual, mental, emotional and physical well-being. And I'm also, oh, I really like this one as well. I practice discernment, which is the third eye. I practice discernment and listen deeply within for the truth. I choose to respond rather than just act, reacting to situations. Acting with clarity, courage and conviction. So really just like stepping back from things and... There's another one that would say, oh, it's basically just not comparing yourself to people on social media. And I, I'm realizing that everyone goes through pretty much the same thing. And whether it be sadness, anger, frustration, loneliness, whether it be that you want a relationship and it hasn't come here yet. I just feel like to trust yourself and know that you're not alone because a lot of us can feel very alone, especially at the moment. And knowing that if you are feeling really lonely and upset and confused right now, just know that you will get through it. And these energies, girl, they're freaking harsh right now. They are up and down. They're around the wrong way. They're upside down. It's like, hi, you're feeling sad one day. And the next day you feel like angry. And I'm like, girl, I can't keep up. <laughs> I literally cannot keep up. So if you are feeling sad, just realize that it may be energy, especially if you're very sensitive. And a lot of teenagers I'm speaking to right now, you're most likely the sensitive, the most sensitive ones. Or, you know, if those of you who are empaths, you want to be extremely sensitive too whatever your age it's just those of you who are born more in the uh, who are younger those who are born more into the early aquarian age you're gonna be extremely sensitive because you guys are the uh the guides you know because you guys think in a different way including myself i'm part of that generation as well so very interesting so i love this right love life very very practical okay so you guys you're going to be meeting your your person through uh, your career most likely uh, it doesn't have to be a career but I do see that very strongly. Okay, career and uh, let me shuffle that again. I'm not sure what that one was. So career, let's get one more career card. So I'm going to have a look at your love life and then we have a pile for your career and then we're gonna do general energy. General. Okay, you guys are needing to balance yourself. You guys are feeling very confused. Some of you guys have literally just gone through a spiritual awakening. I feel very sad <laughs> for you guys. I feel, I honestly, I am giving you my heart right now because I know how frigging difficult it is to go through a spiritual awakening. It is not fun, girl. It is not fun. And trust me, you will get through it. It's going to be okay and everything's going to be great. So the overall energy is cancer, I feel. You're literally feeling so much, okay? And you're like, girl, I don't want to feel this. I've already always, already felt so much this year. Just know that this is a different type of feeling, okay? This is much more stable and you're going to feel like things that you're missing are going to come to fruition, okay? So, as I was saying, love life. You have Capricorn, 
Virgo and Taurus. Very, very practical. So you could be meeting a Capricorn, a Virgo or a Taurus. You could be meeting somebody through education or something where you do practical things. So it could be like going to the shops, going to um, the park. It could be running errands. It could be something like that. It could be something that you really don't want to do and then you go and do it and you're like, oh my God, I just met my soulmate. You know, it could be like, I'm going, you need to go to a different shop because maybe there's traffic and you have to like merge off into another lane and into another road. And then you're like, oh, that, that shop will do. And then you meet someone that's really, really interesting. I feel like also you you do something you don't want to do. And I do feel like it leads you to somewhere that you have you need to be, basically. The universe is going to guide you. And it's going to be like, wow, I had a really weird day. It kind of ended up really good. It started off really confusing and then it ended up really good. So that's kind of what I'm feeling. I do feel as if the more you work practically on yourself by giving yourself a lot of love, by treating yourself really well, by just giving yourself a lot of generosity and patience, I feel like this is going to really help you in your love life. And this could be like friendships as well. This can be <clears throat> romantic, anything like that. <clears throat> and I feel like you're working on your throat chakra because I keep coughing. Okay, you have career. So we have Chiron healing, Grand Triumph blessings, and we have Black Moon Lilith mystery. So with Chiron healing, this is like really intense. You guys have such intense things. So it could be you guys have quite an intense energy. Um, or wherever you put your focus, it just friggin' expands. So I feel like also, for some of you guys, I'm seeing you guys, okay, not going to manifest into existence, but I do see some of you guys like breaking down in your car and then somebody comes and helps you and then you're then your soulmate. It's like something you think, oh my God, this is the worst day. And then it ends up really friggin' good. It's something like that. It feels like that. Okay. So <clears throat> you can also meet them in class or in some sort of course, something that's educational, it's practical, something you have to do. Could be at the gym as well. Uh, somewhere you go on the, on the, you know, every day. It feels like somewhere you never thought you'd meet somebody. So that's for those of you who are single. I do feel like those of you in relationships, everything's going to start to feel back a bit more grounded and you're going to realize possibly that some relationships you're in or friendships are not good for you. And some of them are really good for you. And also making sure you're getting an equal amount out of it. So you're getting something out of it, they're getting something out of it, it's even. So I also feel like not to think too practically about your love life and make sure, making sure your emotions are there too and you're really <clears throat> being in the moment, <clears throat> sorry guys, with somebody. Okay, so Chiron healing, Grand Trine blessings, Black Moon Lilith. So you have healing, blessings and mystery within your career. You guys are, some of you guys are really not comfortable in your career right now. Um, things are going to change, things are going to shift, and you guys have gone through so much crap in your career, okay? If you haven't, this is obviously a specific message. Those of you who've had a really bad time in your career, just know that things are changing, and it may be a bit mysterious right now. You may not know what's going to change. Some of you guys are Virgos or Geminis. My throat is really being affected. Um, it rules the third house, so I feel like you guys are really tuning into your throat chakra, speaking your truth, and just allowing yourself to be yourself. And I do feel like you're going to figure out your career, Okay, if you've really struggled, you're going to figure that out. All right, so overall energy, we have the 10th house, the world. We have Libra, balance, endings and beginnings, 8th house of Scorpio. And we have North Node, life's purpose. Something that's going to end is something that's going to begin with your life's purpose. And basically, you're going to get a lot more balance. Your career is going to balance itself out and making sure that you are giving and taking in the right way. So making sure you're getting enough money, you're being paid enough, somebody is treating you well, and if they're not treating you well, maybe they're not, not you know, the right person to work with. You may have to end a connection with a coworker to realize what you do and don't want. There's definitely energy around your love life. Your love life is being really shifted and you're allowing yourself to have balance. You're seeing relationships as they are. They're not, they're not, hi they're not hiding anything anymore. And your life's purpose is really going to be initiated. You're gonna find yourself more. You're gonna find what your life's purpose is and what you've been soul searching for. No more soul searching. Let's get you one more card for that. Aries, I am. So you could be an Aries. Aries, I feel like I've gone through it <laughs> with their career. They've gone through the frigging ringer, especially because they've had a lot of um, karmic debt almost to do with their career and finances um, and things like that. And then we have literally endings and beginnings and then we have Aries. So you guys are learning to figure out who you are and understanding what it is that you want. And you may be getting a download about what it is that you could be doing in the future. We need to pull you just one more card around your career, actually. We have the uh, House of Wealth. So this is, I'm pretty sure this is the sixth house. This is a house of health and jobs. <laughs> Beautiful. Here's where we can see the daily work life, routine and organisational ability, as well as body care, diet and exercise. 
Animals and pets also belong in this house. You may be working as a vet. Um, and you are finally taking that first step to start something new in your career. Can we get one more? This is uh, Taurus. This is the house of resources and materials. This is literally the second house of work. You guys are going to get so much more money than what you have done. And you are, we are Aries again. Oh my God. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, one more card. This is just entertaining that. Libra. Okay, it's all the same cards that you got before. Balancing in your career and your love life. And how I just hurt my elbow. <laughs> and manifesting what you need to manifest. Okay. Guys, it's late. Okay, I hit my elbow. I need to sleep. <laughs> all right, so... Let's have a look and see what's going on for you guys in your tarot. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Okay, let's see what's going on. Tarot, please. Group number four. Queen of Swords. Speaking your truth. Reflection and Diligence, Dawn of Rings, so that's the um, Page of Pentacles. Nine of Cups, Contentment and Satisfaction. You are finally satisfied with where you're going. And then we have Judgment. Oh, I love this. Revelation and Awakening. Oh, girl, that's nice. A new doorway is happening. A new doorway is opening. And you guys may be like really um, into intergalactic energies. You may feel like you're from Atlantis. You may feel like a starseed, a Palladian. I feel like you guys are getting a lot of fulfillment and achievement and you guys are really getting what you want and you're speaking your truth and you're manifesting everything that you've ever wanted and there's a massive amount of contentment and satisfaction and you guys have really been reflecting on what it is that you want to manifest and you could be um, buying a crystal ball as well. We have a crystal ball on here. I just feel like you're being handed something that you need and you're going for a massive awakening and then we also have generosity and assistance. Let people assist you. And I really love this judgment card. It's so beautiful. And underneath the two of swords, you're going to make a decision and no longer feeling indecisive or confused about where you're going. I just feel you're going to feel really content. I just see contentment and satisfaction and just feeling like karma, not feeling so intense. So that is your reading, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you want a private reading or you want to have a look at my crystal store, all the information is down below. Thank you so, so much for being here. I really appreciate you. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye.